My name is Dolly Durden. Noreen Alice Evans Burnham. Diasa Lavia Baptiste. Rosa Louise Law McGowan. Dolly is our fine, fine president and a great president that he is. We were here today to help celebrate uh, class of 69. I went to school at BC Elmo High. BC Elmo was a middle school and a high school at that time. We were a 3A school, but we played a lot of 4A schools. We had, we battled against Wheatley, Cashmere, Beaumont, Hebert, Charleston, Pollard. We, we managed to hang on. We, we competed against academically and athletically with everybody. School was dominant. <laughs> we have three NFL people at the top of my head, three or four people uh, in the old USL league. We have uh, quite a few high school, college people that have been inducted into the Hall of Fame. I had the privilege of being inducted into the PVUIL, my, uh, my relay team. We did a few things while we were in, in high school to get, uh, had the privilege to uh, enough coaches to recognize that we did a little something back in the day. Uh, the teachers that taught me, they cared about all of us and they were very serious about us getting a great education. We had some great teachers in Mr. James Bell, Wanda Mosley, Aaron Walker. My uh, Glee Club class, because Ms. Davida Nayla was a music teacher and she loved every child that was in that class. She um, saw our potential and uh, she went forth with it because I remember her sending me to the Miss Texas teen pageant. She didn't do it just herself. She convinced our class to chip in their lunch money to pay for my registration. And I went and I cried because I didn't win top, but I did win most versatile. I mean, goodness, I competed against Debbie Allen. So, I mean, you know, was I supposed to win? <laughs> Probably yes, <laughs> but, but Debbie won. You know, I went on and gave it to her. We had the teachers like uh, Mr. Brown, and uh, we had <laughs> Mr. Bill, and we had, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say her teacher name, but she was great for the mental people we have in our school. <laughs> and our teachers during that time, they was very personable. They knew you and they taught you. They cared about you. Great teachers, great teachers in every field. City Gas Road is still there. We've gotten, we went from shell to blacktop to concrete. City Gas Road. Back in the day, it used to be a very narrow road, bumpy. The ditches was tall enough for a six-foot person to stand in. But now, it's a two-way drive called North West Side. Down to the gas road with a quickness because that was the thing of the area. People had chairs on the side. Every school in that district was in the band. We had two bands, you know, Smiley and Elmo. And then we had the little elementary kids. They had a drum section that was tough. They was marching and prancing and splitting. It was just, it was the, the, the thing of the season to go down City Gas Road. Because we'd be careful, you know, them big old ditches. <laughs> them big old ditches down. You saw the City Gas Road, be careful. It wasn't like wayside now. But we loved that area. That was the thing. Oh, City Gas Parades were the best parades. That parade was like top notch for me. Being a chili and marching down the road and everybody waving at us and we were waving and marching, doing our best uh, to look really cute and jump really high. You know, people came out of their homes that, you know, were along the street and they would stand up and look and you see the little kids on the car and you can tell by looking in their face, they're saying, oh God, I can't wait until I get to whatever grade so that I can march down. Whole City Gas shut down way back when, uh, it was the Jack Yates and Wheatley historical gangs that on Thanksgiving, everybody shut down and went to Jefferson Stadium. And they built floats that were just outstanding. Mr. Hurdle had the baddest man. I, I thought I, I thought it was in Houston, the baddest band. I couldn't wait to be in that band. We had a drum major, that girl that was out of sight. She, had, she was short and she had thick legs, but that girl could prance. 
I'm like, I want to be in the band. And when I finally got my chance, you talking about marching? Oh, I just felt so great. Me and my hat and, and my clarinet and all the people be watching, I just loved it. I know our kids needed something better, but I'm not convinced that North Forest being absorbed into HISD was the best thing. Uh, I haven't seen any improvement. I haven't seen anything. A lot of the history has been merged and forgotten as far as B.C. Elmo is concerned, and it's going that way. Uh, B.C. Elmo became a middle school. Forest Brook became the dominant high school out there. And now uh, Forest Brook High is a middle school. B.C. Elmo High now is a middle school. So all the history that was accomplished by those two great schools are, are gone. This TEA takeover is destroying a lot of history. I, I, I really truly don't like it, but that is the issue that I personally have preyed on. HSD had been absorbed us for a while, but the idea that the TEA want to take over HSD, just huge district, I do think it was, it was political. The, the HSD as a whole had improved a grand whole lot. And the reason why I say political because HISD is a big district. And I think a lot of money in, in HISD. And of course, TFTA, I think they want that money, man. I really, really do. So, so you know, the comments say, uh, we're going to take over and can't tell us why. The president of TEA, he's never shown up to none of the meetings here. None of the meetings. He sends a little secondhand man. So therefore, we, they, put, they couldn't get the answers that they wanted. So that's why every meeting was a turmoil. Our BC Elmo community, we, we, first of all, it's a, a reflection of all of us that graduated. If you graduated in 1969, you are part of BC Elmo. We have a burial committee that any of our classmates uh, pass on or their wives, uh, we, we take care of our own. I'm surrounded by a lot of great people that, that make me look good, but it's, it's this whole village that makes it work. What I do is to stay in contact with all my classmates to let them know, you know, that when we're together, we, we do such a beautiful thing that I would like for them to be a part of. Somebody decided that we wanted to <laughs> have uh, a get together for the committee, the bereavement committee. We were coming together to celebrate the home going of our friends rather than celebrate the living. Yeah. The people that's in my class yeah. is you know just top of the line. I love them all. And one thing we have always done we have always stuck together, most of us. I have a lot of fond memories of my classmates that are here, some that are gone. The people from 67 through 70 helped make me be who Dolly is. Everybody always had a smile for me. You know, always had a smile for me. They missed a treat. We could not stop laughing. The people that wasn't here today, I would definitely tell them that they miss a treat and that they truly, truly, truly need to uh, get in contact with me or another one of their classmates so they will not ever miss another event. Give us a try. Ask us just what it's really all about and see if you can come and just give us your ideas. We listen and we're going to make sure that it's good for the whole and not just for a few. I would say we on the dark side or whatever number that is and time is getting short and that we all need to come together to try to make whatever time we have left be more meaningful than we're doing because it's going to take all of us not only to save our community but to keep the history and the richness of what we accomplished, what the teachers and our parents sacrificed for so that we all can be a better place for our children and our grandchildren.
wine was great. It was great. Yes, we, we even had some wine with the chocolate. We did a lot of swirling. On the home, we had for a 69. Yes, yeah, 69. Do you know about those two numbers? And I'm going to thank the, the uh, video yes. director. Person. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. yes. some beautiful uh, questions. Quite a few of our classmates have gone on, but we still remember them.